All right, hey, Gemini, so we're doing a singles read. The intention for this read is the new love that's coming through in the next 60 days. Um, you guys are going to know this is your read by the current energies in the intro. So if this does not resonate with you, check those other placements. And if you're new, welcome, you guys. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. Um, uh, so half of the re half the reads today and the other half tomorrow. Um, also, let's see what else. Oh, I'm going to be pulling the past. So this is a 60 day intention or a confirmation for some of you that have already or recently met somebody. Um, it's a 60 day turnaround time. And in that 60 days, this is um, specifically intended for those that have people from the past coming back around. Okay. And we're going to pull intentions for that. So I'm going to start with your energy, um, your current energy, Gemini, your current energy. So you're focusing on yourself, right? Look at that. You got your lover's card. I feel like that's more about commitment to self right now, more than anything. If it comes in, great. If it doesn't, great. I don't care. I'm focusing on me, my, um, my, myself, my work, balancing home, kids, stability, life, um, you know, my spiritual path, my spiritual journey. Um, I feel like right here, you're just kind of focusing on stabilizing life for you, which is really good. It's, uh, that's what I see. I feel like you're taking care of you first, right? Um, not putting any hardcore pressure on or overthinking past or, or present or future. I feel like you're just right here in the zone, uh, committing to yourself. Okay. So let's just see how it is. You feel about love, how you feel about love. You got the honeymoon phase coming through honeymoon. All right. So the honeymoon, um, the fact that that's coming through, it tells me that you're open to it. You're open to the idea of love. You are um, receptive to it. If it comes through, um, great again, um, I feel like with that page of wands popping through here, um, this is about having somebody on, you know, in alignment. Like I want somebody that thinks like me, you know, I want somebody, um, who has transformed their life. Like me, you got death card coming through, you got the world card and you got the page of wands. So how you feel about love tells me that, you know, whatever you're changing in your life, this person definitely needs to be in alignment with that, with the same belief. Um, if you guys are very spiritual and you're working a, a, a you know, a spiritual journey or a program. Um, it's important that this person comes through and they be um, elevated like you. No more, no more people from the past. That is completely. It's a, it's almost like you're coming through too as a brand new human being. So you guys could have had a really big change that you went through um, that just says, no, I'm a new person. So anyone that's going to meet me here has to be in that same element, that same environment, right? Um, we I want the same belief system, and if they're not going to be here all the way. Um, you know, I, I, it's fine. They can stay, they can stay away. I have a feeling that for whoever is here, you can talk to somebody in the first five minutes. I already know what their, uh, MO is, right? So let's see who's coming in for you guys. Who is coming through the next 60 days for Gemini. All right. So what do we got? We got the heartbreak card coming through in reverse. So this is somebody who might be just coming out of heartbreak. Um, something that was lost. It doesn't have to be romantic in nature. Okay. But it, they're coming out of it. So this is somebody who's had their fair share of pain hurts. You know what I mean? But I do feel like they come through with balance and a stabilized mindset. You also got the six of wands coming through too. So with this energy right here, um, I feel, you know, even the devil card showing up in reverse, I, I just feel like that is somebody with, uh, the, the, re that removal of ego. As soon as I see this guy come in reverse, I always assume that the, um, ego is going to be more depleted from this energy. You got Capricorn, you got Leo, you got Taurus and Libra coming through. So this new person could be any of those signs, but just know that they come through balance. So whatever they have dealt with in the past, I do feel like it is past energy, something they're com coming out of. All right. And this could be deep past it could be distant past you know um this could just be that this person has gone through a lot but they're coming through a stabilized imbalance so um let's just see what they what they want what are their intentions like let's just pull a little bit more about what what they're doing when it comes to love okay so here we got calling in your soulmate at the bottom and we got unrequited love so if we were to say how how this person feels about love um they probably experienced more um giving than taking right? They probably experienced um, a whole lot of uh, uh, unmatched energy, okay? Um, let's just see a little bit more about how they feel. We got the Nine of Cups coming through. All I want is happiness, all right? I don't want anybody to take anything from me anymore, okay? Um, I do feel like they're still moving away from that energy, um, you know, coming into the, uh, the elevated mindset of I'm only going to be um, accepting, you know, offers from people, um, who are the, they, they have that same equal give and take, right? 
Um, as far as, you know, how they feel about love, I just feel like they're moving away from the negative energy. And if I have to sit with myself, you know, um, that's what I'm going to do. As long as I just feel like the embodiment of happiness is what's coming through here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've had my fair share of ups and downs, but I'm moving away from it and into happiness, even if it means that I need to sit with myself. All right. So let's just see uh, when this person comes through, what their intentions are, what their intentions with you are. Look at that. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. I don't want this. All right. I feel the biggest thing right here with the seven of swords is that that is the fear of a broken heart, the fear of, you know, having that heartache. So I do feel like there's going to be some fears, but I don't feel like they're going to stay very long because the five of swords in reverse would also come through as reconciliation, resolutions. I'm going to express my fears. I'm going to express my desires and I'm going to tell you what I really want. Okay. I want a soulmate. I want somebody I can start new with. I want somebody I can trust in and build and grow with. Okay. Um, I feel like their intentions are, are very, they're very pure considering this energy coming through right here and the fact that these are the two cards that dropped in reverse it tells me that this person although healed they, they do hold on to fear they have reservations but i don't see that stopping this connection from growing with you guys okay um so let's just see how this person feels about themselves how do they feel about themselves look at that a high priestess right an intuitive somebody who knows how to give and receive love you got your two of wands coming through right there so this person could actually be somebody that has a uh, has been on a spiritual journey for quite some time. I'm going to say that you, if you guys are on a spiritual journey, I'm going to tell you this person coming through is going to be in alignment with your views and beliefs. Maybe not as deep as you, maybe you not as deep as them. All right. But I do feel like you guys are making way to um, that connection. That's actually right there in alignment with you. Okay. Um, somebody who is open to giving and receiving. Um, I feel like, you know, this person knows what they want. Um, and I feel like they probably have a, a guard up or they have reservations because I'm not sharing my energy with just anyone anymore. All right. The buck stops here. So let's just see what the potential for commitment is for this connection. Oh, look at that. So what you're being told is slow and steady, right? Slow and steady will win the race of this, um, this love interest coming through right here. You got your sun card coming through with the hap happily ever after it's, um, you know, a card of, um, wow, it's just willpower, happiness, success. And you got the six of swords also showing up here, which is just moving out of, um, any negative energy. Okay. So I feel like this right here has got um, some great potential for it to be long lasting you guys, if that's what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these cards up and we're just going to do a quick check-in on the past energies that potentially are returning to you guys as you draw into this new energy and you're completely happy because when you know somehow sometimes that's just how it seems like it goes you move on you move away the past comes back and you get stuck right so let's just see what the returning exes bring in all right, so you got a specific energy with that uh, Queen of Wands. That's going to be Aries and Pisces, potentially. They're coming through. Oh, man. Yeah, King of Swords, Gemini energy also showing up. So it could be, um, what do we say, uh, Aries, Pisces, and Gemini coming through um, with offers. You guys could have more than one coming through. It could be that um, some of you guys are just dealing with a couple of different people right here. Um, but that <laughs> they're, they're definitely coming through. But I just don't think that their intentions, especially this uh, King of Swords in reverse, I don't know that the intention intentions are very good, especially if they treated you like an option in the past, okay, or held you at bay. Um, but let me pull this energy's intentions. Um, I see that Ace of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So you're moving on and somebody wants you back. That's what it is. All right. Yeah, I didn't. I Yeah, I chose everything but you in the past. And now I'm feeling the karmic burn from that justice card. This is saying somebody got bit in the ass, you guys, and they don't like how they're feeling right now. Um, they don't like how they're feeling right now. Karma is coming back to say, hey, uh, yeah, I didn't treat you right. Now I want to come through and apologize. So what is your advice on this one? What is your advice? I feel you guys are going to have a tough, um, yeah, you're going to have a tough choice, but it's going to be yours to make, okay? You got your five of wands energy coming through. Um, you know, I did see the seven of cups. I feel some of these um, people from the past might not have the best intentions, you guys, but you are going to have to use your intuition because that queen of wands does come through in the upright, and I feel like she's the one that's carrying that uh, 
um I, I i the karmic you know i'm sorry but the king of swords coming through in reverse that's somebody who's very very manipulative uh somebody who's cold-hearted somebody who um acts in haste they don't think um so they made a wild decision they lied they you know um they didn't hold the truth they didn't they their boundaries were not clear clean receptive okay but um that temperance card i do feel some of you guys are going to have and you're going to be able to tell who is who you guys you're going to know who the lo the new love is because you're going to start connecting and making new connections that's when the past comes back. Now you're going to know by um, somebody's actions, words, and behaviors if you should even try to entertain it, right? Um, if the past feels better than the current or the new, you guys, um, again, free will um, sometimes can be a, a free will can sometimes <laughs> hurt, right? Um, I don't know what to do. Well, um, I'll tell you this, you guys, uh, Gemini, what is meant to to be in our life. Um, it won't leave. It will stay. And you're going to know eventually you're going to know, um, we can't continue to make the wrong decisions when it comes to love because everything in the past is supposed to be a lesson that pushes us further into self-love and development. Okay. So if the past feels like the past is coming back and it's not changed, then there's a clue that maybe you need to move on. All right. Initials coming through with this read, we got K U N this could be yours past people or future people, just so you know. All right. You got H F and we got a W right here. You guys, Gemini, I'm going to leave it here. You guys take care.